It's nice, it's pretty slim. We got the mounting bracket right here, a couple rubber isolators, here's mounting hardware, we got four sets of uh, nuts and, and bolts, technically only, only bolts, only two nuts. Uh, came with the Allen key, and we have a nice wiring harness with a nice on-off switch, and a fuse, relay, all that stuff. We're probably not going to use this, because we're going to mount this, um, and connect it to the existing, or the old, fog light wires. And it's going to sit right about here. And pop our hood up. Oh, I didn't realize. We're going to pop out uh, oh, the plastic pieces and see what is in this section or our bumper. Uh, they're pretty solid, so we think it'd be a pretty good place to mount the light bar. Remember, don't drill through your bumper on your car if you don't want holes there, but budget rally build. We don't care. This section of the bumper here actually is pretty thick. It's got uh, the thick styrofoam behind it too. Uh, for now what we're going to do, we're going to screw it in with these uh, stainless steel wood screws. We're just going to screw that puppy right in there. Do the other side. This isn't how we're going to mount it the final way, but we want to use this for mock-up uh, and, and until I get longer hardware. Uh, they sent us some nice quality uh, stainless hex heads, but they are um, too short for us to yeah. get through that much foam. I mean, this is pretty sturdy as is, but you know, with the vibration of rally and everything, we're going to get uh, some washers and stuff and stick it back there. As for now, this is pretty much where it's going to sit. It's aimed right. This wire, we're just going to fish right through the grill here. Make it nice and clean. And now we just have to fish out the, the old um, wire for the fog light and reroute it up here and plug it in. In the cab we have a button on off for the fog light so they're not automatic so this will be able to be turned on and off just by the button on the dashboard it's already there just so you know the shorter allen key heads go right in here and then on there is a lock washer and a normal washer there they are and they snug up quite nicely um, so that you can do a slight adjustment to the LED. You want to move the LED up and down. So you can adjust them in the meantime before you crank them down to get the aim right and then you can really uh, snug those puppies up. So there it is. That's kind of how it's going to look. Uh, the hood will sit uh, a little bit further down, but not by much. But uh, it kind of blends nicely because the grill was there anyway. Yeah. So it's not like sticking out like a sore thumb and it doesn't hang off extremely far either you sometimes you see these going down the road and they hang off way way too far all right guys so this is the wiring harness that comes with the light bar comes with the fuse the relay comes with the push button switch for the inside it's actually got a pretty nice feel to it and then it's kind of it's the the end that you plug into the light bar so this light bar doesn't actually come with any wire ends on either side so you could either put wire ends on these you could put a butt connector solder them together but this end here with the thick uh, protective casing actually goes to the light bar itself and then right by the relay and everything you have your positive and negative you could do this to your battery to your fuse box um, looks like they have it set up to go to the battery positive is red and ground is black you have a fuse I don't know what size fuse is in here right now let's give it a quick look it's a 30 amp fuse and then you have a 40 amp relay here uh, you would mount this somewhere in the engine bay right by the battery, mount these two guys together, hook this up to the battery, this guy will go to the light bar, and then this guy right here is the button. It comes with a, a quick connector here. You gotta find a spot in your firewall that you can send this to the inside of the, the cab, your car, whatever, cabin. cabin. Um, and then this has double sided tape on the back, 3M, so that's pretty decent. And then you would mount it there, it has a little on off uh, indicator lights and once it's all working you click it activates the relay and your light bar turns on but like I said we aren't going to use this because we have the factory um, wiring harness from the fog lights which is almost the same exact setup this buttons in there but it's more of the factory button and you have a fuse and relay built into the car fuse and relay box alright guys so I realized we haven't worked on this Tiburon in quite a while because we totally forgot we relocated the battery to the trunk 
So there is no battery over here to hook it up to. So I mean, luckily there is a fuse box. We yeah, we do have the fuse box. We do have the relay and everything. But it's just easier. I brought over a battery. Um, so we do the positive, positive, negative, negative. As you can see, it goes this way. Has the off on. And if you click it on, boom. Man. So it works. It's pretty I'm bright. Blind. <laughs> So this is how you wire the, the stock harness up. It's pretty simple. This, as you see, is plenty long enough to make it from your engine compartment into the car. And just stick it somewhere on the dash, under the dash, under the seat, having your hand and just start flicking it. Um, now we are gonna undo some of this tape here and hook it up to the fog light wire. So now Johnny has extended the leads off of the OEM harness for the fog lights. He's currently stripping the wires and he'll wire it into the LED harness. These wires that we're using are actually a little bit thicker than the ones that come on the bar, so we're, we're good. It's got a nice gray casing on it to protect it from any sharp edges, and we're just using um, simple crimps instead of soldering because it's freezing cold out. And if our bumper gets ripped off, at least, yeah, at least these will rip apart <laughs> instead of pulling down our entire wiring harness. Now Johnny is using some electrical tape to insulate the wires from the elements and make sure that they stay together and don't rattle around apart from each other. There we go. It's installed. It's attached to the stock harness. Johnny's going to get in the car and he's going to hit the switch. Now we test it. There's the kill switch. Key. and the fog light switch there you go it's brighter than the headlights look <laughs>